Um, I don't think so. I don't think, um, you know, as it stands now with Will's availability and, you know, we'll get him back this week. Um, but I thought that Malik took a, took a big step yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you have the, the turnovers, but again, there was, um, a lot of cool stuff that happened after that. And I wouldn't say that we were great, uh, in front of them. I thought our receivers, um, showed up and did, did a nice job most of the most of the night uh and Malik has to make some better decisions and then you know we'll see where will's at here this week how much of an opportunity <coughs> loss is that for will just to not have to have these last couple of games well it's for you know opportunity for everybody you know some some veterans that we played yesterday on defense just to get out there and communicate and get some live tackling and live action um but for, for young quarterbacks, they have to be able to to play in football games. And you know, whether that's preseason games, it's, it's where you develop. So, you know, we, we got to try to get them, get them ready to go here uh, through practice now. I know he did a little bit on Wednesday, but have you liked what you've seen from him, you know, outside of the practice field? Um, yeah, I mean, he, you know, keeps progressing. I think that, you know, the arm talent is there. It's, you know, but it's making decisions and knowing that you don't have, I think one thing that you learned or I saw last night is Malik was able to speed up uh, his process, probably a little bit too quick, I think, on the one there to Wiley. Um, but he's kind of realizing that this is game speed. These guys are rushing and, you know, figuring out what's going on and, looking and progressing one, two, and getting out of the pocket, did a nice job keeping his eyes down the field. So I think that's the thing where Will uh, can get those throws, but that the, the actual live pass rush, uh, feeling that in practice is, is going to be different. The timing of these releases, do you intend to have everybody back on the practice field, or, or will you notify some guys before that? Uh, there may be some players that'll, um, that, that we'll let know uh, before Tuesday, but – you know, we'll, we'll practice and do some things tomorrow. We'll practice Monday and we'll have off on Tuesday uh, and work our way through the claiming period, work our way through the practice squad and, you know, try to practice it, you know, 1230 uh, Wednesday. What have you seen from Hale's uh, first time out since 2021, I guess? Well, it was good to see him back out there. Did some things, you know, he's got to focus on some pad level and, he didn't have a ton of opportunities, but, you know, played hard. I thought he had, you know, good speed. It was, you know, got him different spots, drop in and edge of the line of scrimmage. And so, but I thought that was good just to get him back out there. Some of the receivers showed up. Just what did you see from those young guys brought up details last night? Is that kind of? Like yeah, I think that's kind of still there. I think they all, you know, probably contributed to, you know, a mental uh, mistake, you know, here and there, whether it was a route, whether it was a, formation but it was good to see them you know catch the ball it was good to see Colton you know catch one in stride below his waist on, on third down uh, it was good to see you know Kyrus you know kind of show up and and playing fast and, and Treshawn does some things so they're all got some opportunities last night and I thought they improved from from where we were in Minnesota how far has Colton come from <clears throat> from the beginning as a small school guy well, it kind of – I felt like it was coming along and then just kind of the setback, you know, with not being able to play in the game. Um, I, I think he – you know, there was probably some, you know, nerves playing at home. And I think some of those, those mental errors showed up early, you know, within the first five plays. And I think he settled down, which was which was great. That's why these preseason opportunities are so important for, for these young guys and – but he's always willing. He's very coachable. You see him play with with great effort in a run game and turning and you know trying to block guys and, and finish. So um, anytime that these guys can get opportunities out there and see different coverages, see different uh, you know defenses, I think it's great. Justin Murray got a couple of series with the first group on the offensive line. How, how did he do? And how is the right tackle position overall kind of shaping up? Well, I mean, I think just that group. You know, as a whole, you know, we, we have to we have to start better, you know, and, and we need to, you know, make sure that we're we're improving. And whether we game plan for the what New England was in, that's that doesn't matter. We need to go out and play 
better and use our rules and, and block better and you know finish better. So I would say that that entire group has to um, have a big week. With Andre Dillon, you know, your decision to give him extensive time, how much of that had to do with the fact that, you know, he hasn't played a lot in the last uh, year or so? Oh, quite a bit. You know, I mean, there's certainly things that we want to see coming out of each game or that I would like to see. Um, and so we give them opportunities to, to do those things. And also, like you mentioned, you know, having played limited snaps last year, 47 or however many snaps that he played, uh, certainly part of it. Did you see what you wanted to see? Uh, I mean, at times, you know, again, that, that, that entire group, there's just too much inconsistency. Um, and as we work through you know, some different runs and being able to, you know, some of the stuff that I think we should be able to nail no matter what it is. We've been running it since May. You know, we got to be able to, to get and get going and block it better. Some of the new ones I get, okay, I mean, see a different look and this happens. But I would just say that that group in general, like, we have to have a great week. When you look at the wide receiver room and guys fighting for jobs, typically special teams is a, a huge priority there for those last few spots. With some of the guys banged up in the room, does it potentially shift what you value in guys that get elevated or, or land on the 53? Mm, there would be a lot of those things that we go through here in the next couple of days with you know, Ran and, and, and myself and his staff and the coaching staff. But um, you know, special teams is, is a critical element, you look at who you can develop, where are they going to do on game day? Are they going to have a helmet? Um, do you feel like they can, can have they continue to improve? Have they, you know, do they make the same mistake twice? And, you know, is this somebody that has continued to develop and you have a, a vision for? So there's a lot of things that go into the last spot and, you know, trying to find some of those guys that do play special teams. Kyrus had some returns. He didn't have an opportunity for a kickoff return. Um, but, you know, that had a couple punt returns there, so. You see Caleb Murphy show up pretty well as a pass rusher. How's he done on the special teams aspect? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been like, you know, like I wouldn't say he's like one of our core special teams players right now, but, you know, sometimes for those players that didn't maybe play a lot of special teams in college and or it's a different, you know, we're asking him to do something different. He's, you know, looking to try to find a role there as well. Autry is a guy you, you point to for the younger players, but uh, alongside him, Jeffrey Simmons, like how much does he really embody, you know, what you guys want to do a, a, as a Titans player? Well, it makes my job easy, I think, when you have, you know, people like Jeff and Kevin and Danico and, you know, we have a lot of those guys, you know, Amani and, you know, just that make, you know, spread my message uh, and the coaching staff's message into the locker room. Delaney Walker was here the other day and, you know, I thanked him again. You know, I've talked to him numerous times about being one of those veteran guys that when I first got here, um, things are going to be different. And But Jeff is certainly um, on the field, off the field, in the locker room, his presence and leadership. And, you know, it's, you know, we ask a lot of him and, uh, and he knows that. How proud of you are the fact that, you know, Coming out, he was a guy that some people bypassed for whatever reason, but you guys took him, and he's been able to really take advantage of that uh, opportunity with you guys. Yeah, I don't know if proud is necessarily, you know, I, I think I have a, you know, very good relationship with Jeff. Um, again, we all you know, make mistakes, and so when you look at that, it's, you know, is it a mistake or are they a bad person? And I can tell you from the bottom of my heart that Jeff Simmons is a, is a great person. He cares about his teammates. He cares about our fans. He cares about uh, this organization. So, you know, we just have to continue to you know, try to find player, as many players like that as we can. What you think of, of Josh Wiley's camp, I guess, and, and the, the one pick last night, I don't know if you got another look at it. Is, is that one that he needs to have or is that you know, behind him too much? Sure. Um, I think I addressed that. That's probably, you know, not where we want to put the football. Man, we'll probably progress on and throw to Nick Westbrook, who's 10 feet, 12 feet to his left.
With uh, a lot of skilled guys said they thought the turf was fast. A lot of skilled guys said they thought the turf was was fast. Is there a question mark at the yeah, end of yeah, that? No, I'm I, was, I, 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 I can hear you. I can look you at you John were, and look. And I could look and listen at the same time. A lot of skilled guys said they thought the turf was fast. I'm wondering if you thought there was any difference to the way it played. I felt when I had to run down there and get that timeout called, I felt faster than heck. So. Was it weird to step onto it after? It the- was certainly different. Um, I thought the field was great. I thought it was amazing. I thought it uh, felt really good. Um, again, you know, I didn't time myself, but I got down there. I got that timeout called there at the end of the first half. Um, you know, from a temperature standpoint, fantastic product to um, to be able to play games here when when it's 100 degrees and, and not have the field be, you know, 130. Is there a lot of coconut shells in your shoes? I don't think so. What, what, where, do you, uh, where do you think your toughest decisions are? Most competitive positions where you're going to wrestle with uh, decisions? Um, you know, I mean, I think that there's some, you know, offensive line, D line, outside linebacker, wide receiver, inside linebacker. <laughs> yeah, pretty much across the board. <laughs> How do you like the way uh, Aziz? You didn't pick up on my joke, Jimmy. <laughs> you know, these these games are important. There's guys that, uh, you know, Stephen Jones has showed up in the last two games, right? Where maybe in practice it was, you know, but then you go out and he puts his, you know, PBUs and keeps doing that thing. Or Anthony Kendall, they told you about the special team stuff that's hard to recreate, you know, and. Uh, that's been good to see, and 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 the inside linebacker room. You know, I mean, there's there's competition, and guys are competing, and you know, I felt like especially in the second half, uh, guy guys really started uh, to realize that yeah, these games still do matter. It doesn't matter who we're playing or who's on the other side. That you know, there's certain th- things that we're looking for uh, at each level. Aziz Alshai, how how do you like the way he's come in and just kind of you know been able to take on a, a role on your defense? Well, looking for opportunity, he found one here, and, and I love his leadership. And you know, he's got a play demeanor that I appreciate, and he runs to the football. And you know, so hopefully, you know, can continue to be productive for us. And you know, but I like you know, love his leadership, love his uh, you know demeanor around the building. You know, wearing the green dot, the, the communication. You know, we always talk about the communication on offense, but you need, you need yeah. Well, the people. linebackers have to be able to talk up front, and then. You know, be able to relay things to to the uh, to the secondary, or get a call from the secondary, uh, and tie that all in. So, uh, seemed, you know, I, I haven't seen any problem with it. I think it's good. I think those guys are all communicating and you know working with each other, whether it's a check or it's you know Gibby or anybody else that's in there with Aziz. Several of the guys who started last night on defense said it was important for them to play that game, to work on communication and kind of lay the foundation. How do you think they did in their time last night? Um, I, I thought we, we, we did, you know, for, for what they did and what we asked them to do. I thought that they, that was accomplished, you know, just, you know, at 80 yards. I mean, you're looking for things to bitch about. So I, I usually can find them. So. We did, and but I thought that there was some cool stuff that just in our base defenses and coverages that they recognized, and you know did a nice job on third down, or you know guys not getting picked going across the middle, um, playing to the leverage, you know, talk to SMB about the penalty, like the quarterback's out of the pocket, you know, hit them, you, you can you can jam them more than five yards, but you can't hold them. Uh, not missing that opportunity, just finding those things to to try to coach from. But I thought that they all um, prepared to play in the football game and and went out with um, with the right attitude. So Saints are obviously next, uh, and you got some guys now here that won't be around next week. How, what do you how do you structure this week? Maybe how do you transition to to Saints? Uh, we'll probably do that here at the end of the week. You know target that Wednesday and Thursday and try to, you know, compete still against us and you know, get the roster where it needs to get to and then you know, try to have a couple of days with, with the Saints. 
Mm-hmm. Mike, Derek Henry going into this season with what he's accomplished for you and for this team, what, what, you know, similar to what Jeff does on defense, what kind of tone has he helped set for this team as a whole, especially on offense? Well, I mean, we've relied, you know, on Derek as a large part of our offense and our success, and um, he's had a level of consistency, you know, to, to be able to handle a, a, a workload. Um, thought he had a good camp. We probably, you know, wanted to see him. I wanted to see him work a little bit, and you know, just within our offense and some of the changes and the terminology and some of the runs. Um, you know, so I thought he's. Continue to work, stay in shape, and um, and then be able to work in, in our offense and, and you know some of the things that we've added. Um, yeah, I think so. You know, we'll see kind of how he feels. Kelly's the new coordinator. Going through a preseason and actually seeing how they work on the sideline or in the booth, you pretty pretty pleased with all the changes at this point as you head into the regular season. Yeah, I mean that'll all you know we got a long way to go. You know, Justin's upstairs. I like the communication that he has with Tim and, you know, getting a call in and that communication and conversations in between. You know, so, but we're a long way away. We got a long, long way to go and you know, as we prepare, but I'm so far so good. How about Chig? How about Chig, Mike? You expecting <coughs> Chig back? Hmm? Expect them all back at some point. I would imagine that Chig would be with us this week. You guys good? Thank you.